This is normal distributions, uh, creating a normal probability plot uh, using the R programming language. Now specifically, we're using uh, R version 3.1.1, so there's not, nothing to say that it doesn't won't change in future um, future versions of the, the language. So um, I'm going to do a file and choose new script, and I want to create a data set. Um, let's see, I'll call it X, and then I'm going to um, put some numbers into it. 12, 25, 36, 24, 19, 17, 18, 23, 25. What I would recommend uh, when you're working with R is even though you can enter this at the, the prompts, I would recommend um, putting it into a script because then later on if you need to do it again, you can just come and make some slight changes and rerun it and then you're fine. Okay, now first let's look at Q, QQ norm of X. And let me save this. And I'll call this um, norm probability plot dot R. Well, you can, um, there's different options, you know, save, save as, and so forth. Um, down here where you got the edit you can choose run all it'll pop up with a um, a graphics window now if you, if you don't see this graphics window you may have to do some minimizing and so forth to see it but this uh, gives us our normal normal probability plot now if you're wanting to see a imposed line on here so you can see how close it follows it then after the QQ norm, you can do a QQ line X. And that uh, does it based upon this, this data set. So now if I do a file save and choose edit, run all. Now see my, my window didn't pop up uh, automatically there. So I'm going to minimize that and here it is. So you can see how far off it is. See if the, this more or less follows a straight line. Uh, this one's kind of far off. Um, I might think that this is a maybe an outlier. Now I'll leave it to your particular um, stats book to outline whether it follows a normal distribution or not. It'll give you guidelines. It'll say if there's more than one outlier, if there's more than two outliers, and uh, it's not normally disputed, so forth. So um, I would even try to uh, assume that every textbook in statistics follows that same convention. So you need to compare that. But that's how you create a um, uh, normal uh, probability plot in um, R. Now this right here, if you wanted to uh, capture this image and put it into like a report or something, you see that there's um, there's a menu here, which doesn't seem very helpful, and there's not much over here either. If once you got this window open and you're in Windows, this isn't true in other operating systems, but if you do a, um, let's see if I can remember it, uh, alt, let's try Alt Print Screen. Then if you go over to Word and you paste, that's uh, not Alt, we try Control. Control Print Screen. Hmm. I guess it won't capture that individual window. That's That's a shame. Usually it's your current window, so I guess you could make this bigger and then do a um, control control or alt seem to give the same thing. But I'll do alt print screen. Then if you come over here and paste it in, you get that. Now if you want a little clean, uh, cleaner version of this, you could take it into some kind of paint program and edit copy and edit paste it out of that. So even though it looks like uh, there's not much options for like um, you know putting it into into another package, so like you, you didn't see any edit copy directly in there, then you could do that technique. Also, up here you see there's a file, and then there's a copy to the clipboard as a bitmap. And now if I go into Word and do a paste. 
Eh, a little bit cleaner, right? There's also, and this one I never have used, but um, as a metaphile, so I'm not, I have no clue what that's uh, used for. I've also not saved it as a, whenever I want to do anything with it, I'll, I'll uh, usually do a copy of the clipboard as a bitmap. Um, but again, you can always scat capture the window also, if you don't remember that. And uh, you can save it as different, different images. And then, of course, close the window, you just click the X. That's creating a normal probability plot in R.